Now, this week marks the first anniversary of Donald Trump's inauguration as US president. It's been a rather turbulent 12 months with uh, repeated controversies about the president's words and actions. In the first of two reports, our North America editor, John Sopel, analyzes the wider impact of this Trump presidency on the world of US politics and the American economy. To some, it might sound like a warning alarm. To the president, this clanging is music. 150 off now. For all the noise and scandal since Donald Trump came to office, the Dow Jones is up roughly 30%. Every day seems to bring another eye-watering high. And just look at these happy faces. And if you're an investor, if your pension is in the stock market, you're going to forgive an awful lot from this president. But what goes up must come down, no? Are you worried there is a bubble? I'm not worried that there's a bubble per se. Um, is there a correction that could happen? Certainly, but there's certainly enough money out there that could uh, you know, fill and backstop any kind of correction lower. They say that success has many parents and that failure is an orphan. Well, on the success of the stock exchange, Donald Trump wants to be the only parent. Take that alongside the tax cuts that have been recently introduced, and there's a growing sense of optimism in the US economy. And what politician doesn't like that? But does this sentiment stretch beyond Wall Street in downtown Manhattan? Well, it seems to. This is Wall Street in a town called Newnan in the southern state of Georgia. In November 2016, it voted overwhelmingly for Trump. And if there is buyer's remorse, it's hard to find here. Daniel Lichty owns a building firm in the area and says he can't remember a time when business was so good. I'm excited for 2018 and what coming ahead of us. Uh, the calls, like I said, are just out there and trying to figure out how to get all this work done is our next stage. But so that means it's going to be a strong year. But does this optimism stretch beyond construction? Is it anything to do with Donald Trump? Newnan is an attractive town built around the historic courthouse in the town centre. So what's the verdict of voters? We brought together Trump supporters and opponents. The thing that I do like about Trump, what you see is what he is. And he's not putting on a show for the public. I think what he's done is absolutely phenomenal. And for our economy, it's exceedingly growing. Donald Trump inherited a great economy from Barack Obama. Recent acts like the Tax Cut Act uh, are going to do long-term damage to the economy. But what do they think of his behaviour, particularly it seemed on matters of race? After neo-Nazis clashed with anti-racism protesters in Charlottesville, the president equivocated on who was responsible. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. When black American footballers protested, this... Get that son of a bitch off the field right now. And then there were the tweet storms. US media described as the enemies of the people. He boasted that his button was bigger than Kim Jong-un's. And, of course, declaring himself a very stable genius. I think he's a buffoon. Why? Uh, he doesn't seem to have a full grasp of uh, world politics. He doesn't seem to have a full grasp of how government works. Even though he might be saying certain things that I may not like, he's putting America first and that's what we need in America. The biggest threat to the president still lies in the Russia investigation and whether there was collusion with the Trump campaign. So is it fake news as the president insists? or something more real? Oh, absolutely it's real. As soon as he fired uh, Director Comey, having the uh, Russians in his office, uh, there just seems to be something there that's not coming out yet. There has been no evidence that I've heard uh, that there is collusion. What Donald Trump has done brilliantly is keep his base largely supportive, but he needs more than just a core. If he doesn't get the support of reluctant Republicans and independents in November's midterms, then it could all turn very ugly indeed for him, and the Trump agenda could ground to a halt. John Sopel, BBC News, Newnham, Georgia.